Hi guys, um, Karen Stanley. I've just popped um, down to my shed um, for a little post. This story might lose something in the translation because it's one of those moments where you had to be there to appreciate quite how amusing it is. And um, one of the reasons I just love real life is because it's so fucking funny. And it's even funnier when people don't realise that they're funny. Anyway, <laughs> I've literally not even took the coat off. We went to Witherspoons for our tea and um, I love a bit of weather spoons. You pop along. We had two meals and two drinks, like 15 quid. Perfect bit of tea. Have a little chat. I haven't got to cook. I haven't got to wash up. Just a bit of like, just pop out your tea and pop home. Now, bearing in mind, we've been gone nearly two hours. <laughs> and there was this couple on a table next to us. Um, oh, my God. I wish. I wish I could have heard every word of their conversation because it would have been comedy gold. She was an older lady, um, quite frumpy looking. And he was like this tiny little man with a little hunchy back. And all I could see was the back of his head. But I could see he was pointing at her the whole time. Anyway, they have basically argued for the entire time that we were there. And uh, she has got a, a voice that sounds like she's sucked on like a million helium balloons. Um, Mark Collins said it's kind of like canned laughter. You know, when you can't, you don't be, you can just hear it. But it doesn't, no words are coming out because it was like... <laughs> Like the whole way through she was just going on and on and on at him he's wagging his finger at her but with his head down obviously because he was a bit kind of hunchy anyway couldn't hear or see his face ever at all anyway i think the long and the short of their conversation was and it was just hilarious because he would say something waggling his little finger and she'd be like beep, 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 and every now and again she'd go fucking hell beep, 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 fucking beep, beep. and then she'd look round as if to say look people are looking at us the only people people were looking was me because I was really interested to hear what they say, and because her voice was so squeaky, you could hear like you could hear her. You couldn't hear him because he was like a little quiet thing. Um, yeah. So they have basically argued for two entire hours, and every time he said something upset, she'd be like sitting with her back to him like that, and about fifty times she went to leave but didn't leave, and just they just continued. It was, it's a bit like fucking Brexit. They're going to be there for probably two or three years before they reach some sort of deal. And um, and the funniest thing was, at the end, just before we left, she hadn't left, but she'd moved chairs. So she was like one chair away from him, but still arguing. And I think they were arguing about the price of the food in Weatherspoon. Now, like I said, we got two meals and two drinks, like a beer and a wine, for £15. Where the fuck they think they're going to go? She was going, oh, it's always you, you know, squeaky little voice. You know, you have to put a dampener on things. And we could. And then they sort of started to kind of sound like they were agreeing about where they could get fish and chips that were cheaper than Weatherspoons. But I don't know where we're going to go at this time of night. And then he gets out this... Then they were talking about something that they can have on a Friday. I don't even know what that was about. So he gets out this little notepad from his book and takes off loads of bits of elastic bands that have wrapped it, because obviously the notepad's falling apart, but rather than buy a new notepad, he's just wrapped elastic bands around it, takes all the elastic bands off, passes her a bit of paper, and she then writes Friday on it. So obviously they're planning what they're going to eat on Friday, um, and had to write it on his little notepad that he's preserving for, for posterity, no matter how much it falls apart, he's just putting more elastic bands around it. Anyway... They then had the menu out, they looked at the menu, then they had another fucking hell and they put the menus back. Well I'm fucking eating then. So and then these menus have gone backwards and forwards like a fucking fiddler's elbow and when we left them they were still deliberating over the menu. So watch this space. When we go in there next time they might still be there. Like Colin said, Well they ain't going any time soon, are they? They're just they're just there for the night. That's that's their that's. The, I bet it's a fucking laugh in their house. I bet their life is just a beautiful thing. <laughs> but they literally and she looked like she was like that. Looked like she was having the shittest time. Well, I'll just come on my own next time. Then I won't bother. It's like I don't know why you are bothering because you're both having the worst time ever. So I don't know whether they'll ever um, choose something to eat or whether they will find somewhere cheaper than Weatherspoons. I'm not quite sure where that might be. I don't even think McDonald's is cheaper than Weatherspoons. So um, unless they rummage through the bins outside and get something free. I don't know. But, but, oh, and she kept saying, it's under review. They're just, it's being, I keep telling you, you won't bloody listen. It's just being reviewed. I wish I knew what was being reviewed. Maybe some 
soup kitchen somewhere where they can get 15 dinners for a pound anyway just people are just brilliant they're just so brilliantly funny and they have no idea which makes it more brilliantly funny anyway um i'll see you soon <laughs>